Hey guys, it's Eleni. Welcome back to my channel. Um, Y'all like my snucky thingy? I do. Anyways, I'm going to do a leg day workout, kind of like a, a vlog. And I'm also going to cook after just to give y'all some motivation and some tips and maybe a healthy recipe y'all want to try. But I'm going to update you guys on what's been going on. So I decided to do the right thing and guys were like kind of sexually harassing me on snapchat and stuff so i decided to expose them they were like sending me you know i'm a minor so they were sending me like un unsolicited news i think that's what it's called and that is a crime so i could have got the police involved but no i'd rather like warn people be like don't trust this guy he's a pedophile and so i was posting it all over my snapchat and then some guys felt the need to swipe up and they were like he did nothing wrong you're an op this is why prince william county doesn't like like you and i was like an op for exposing pedophiles and sex offenders and people that may get older and like actually harass and like do even worse things to females and even young boys so yeah i started exposing the people that were disagreeing with me and defending them as well and I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna do something right with my Snapchat. So I decided to like post, if anyone like swipe up, if anyone like is harassing you, sending you pictures like this and you're a minor or sexually harassing you at all, doesn't matter what gender you are, it can happen if you're a boy or a girl. And I'm like, I'm gonna use my platform to bring attention to these pedophiles and future sex offenders. And I was like, Go ahead, send me all the proof you can. Send me their username and I'll post it. I'll expose them. Pedophiles are so funny. It's like they kind of like have half a brain as the normal person. But you know, um, yeah, I'll drop my Snapchat down below so that you guys can like message me if you ever need help with anything. And boys, I'm talking to you too. I know that some girls be sending you pictures without your consent and you have like a girlfriend and you open it around your parents and you're like, damn. I kind of scarred or like damn I didn't want to see that so yeah you could you, you know I'll help you guys out it's the right thing to do I know it is and y'all contact me if you need anything I'm gonna be using my snapchat for the right things like that also like workout progress meals and cooking and everything like that but yeah let's get on with the video I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready for the gym and I'll vlog it okay my makeup is done I'm ready for the don't mind my messy room. I'm ready for the gym. And I'm going to go show you guys what I'm going to eat in my pre-workout. So, yeah. I'm going to eat in a plain protein bar and some pre-workout by Campus Protein. <laughs> that didn't work. Oh. I just threw up. <laughs> father is going to be filming me today. Say hello, Father. We on the way. Time to get this booty gains. So I have my workouts all written down. This is what I'm doing today. So if y'all want to like know how many sets or reps I do, you can come back and like take a screenshot of this if you want. Let's get on with the warm up. These are my BFR bands. You can get them from Amazon. BFR. They're booty bands. And they constrict the blood flow to your glutes. And like it gives it more of a pump. And works it more.
LOL, when every time you go to the gym, there's like the same two girls that like roll their eyes at you and give you dirty looks just because you're like living and breathing. It's like, girl, if I'm your inspiration, just say so. And like, we could be friends. Take a picture with me if you want to stare. It'll last longer. And I hope you feel better. I don't think you're supposed to wear these for this long, but oh well. It makes my butt look nice, so like look at that. It looks nice. <laughs> I'm gonna throw in another workout because I'm not feeling it right now. I need to feel the burn, so I'm gonna throw in some hip thrusts. Probably like five sets of 15. Okay, last workout is RDLs. Yeah. I'm serious. Okay, the workout is completed. I'm gonna go home and make something. I don't know what to make yet, but it's gonna have protein in it. So guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my egg salad. It has a lot of protein, and I like to put it on my bagels or bell peppers with some tahini, because I love tahini. It's like my favorite seasoning ever. So here are the ingredients you're gonna need is some regular mustard, some pickle relish, or you can cut up some pickles and some mayo and some a little bit of lemon juice and of course tahini salt and pepper however much you want and then i'm boiling the eggs right now i'm not boiling a lot because i already have some made i just want to show you guys how i make it you know boil them for like 25 minutes so they're finished boiling now i'm gonna let them cool down with some ice and i'll show you guys how i peel them because i peel them a special way okay so this is how i crack my hard-boiled eggs so i crack it at the top and then I crack it at the bottom and then I peel a little bit of the top and peel a little bit of the bottom and then I blow in it see it separates the shell and the egg and then it's really easy to peel off see it came straight off it was actually took me like three seconds to do so try it and see how it works okay so now we're gonna separate the yolk and the white by just like taking your nail and making a slit. Put the whites in one bowl and put the yolks in another. And to make like an entire meal for like four people, you would have to use like 10 eggs and fill up the bowl with the yolks and the whites. And so 
what you do is you take a fork. Oh, not the spoon. And you you squish the yolks. I can't. Yeah, you squish the yolks. And then after they're all squished up, you take some mustard and it depends on how much eggs you use really you can be the judge of how much mustard you put in it but make the mustard and the mayo about the same quantity <laughs> take the mayo. dang my arms look big <laughs> i doubt something at me and then you put that with the yolks too You mix it all up and you put your seasoning in there. You also put the pickle relish, shake it all up, squirt a little bit, mix it in, put some tahini in it, mix it up, and then you have the formula for the egg yolk actually for the entire thing. All you have to do is, now you just take a knife and cut up the whites. You wanna cut them into like really small parts so that they're kind of like tiny little chunks. So you're gonna take your whites, your cut up whites, it should look like that, and just put it in the bowl, bowl with the yolks. And then you're just gonna mix it all up. And then there you have your egg salad. You wanna put some onions, a little chopped onions in there, or garlic a little bit garlic that's you but for me i just want to do the simplest thing so that i get it over with and eat it so i usually am starving when i make egg salad all right guys this is my after workout meal it has about 25 grams of protein i would say that's about four eggs and then what i do is sprinkle some tahini all over it like a powdered donut and then a little bit of lemon juice and then that's my after workout meal so an update on what's going on with my Snapchat and the pedophiles lately is, you know, 90% of the people are agreeing with me and saying like, keep going off, you know, this is entertaining, this is healthy, this is safe, this is keeping minors away from these usernames and people. I'm bringing attention to the pedophiles in my county and other counties so that girls like stay away from them and even like minor boys, you know, they could all be a target. But there's this 10% of men that are like getting offended with what I'm posting and be like, can you keep it to yourself? Nobody cares. Or like, why are you doing this? You, like, you seem like you're a little butthurt. Um, yeah. First of all, you disagreeing with what I'm doing is showing me that you have mental issues as well. And I'm going to expose you as well if you disagree with what I'm doing. It's called having a voice, being heard, and having these pedophiles known to the public, any minors, anyone being sexually harassed by them, needs to know they're not the only one, and also needs to know that I can do something for them if they feel alone and they don't know what else to do. What I'm saying is, I'm posting this and so many people are getting mad, like so many boys, and it's like, wow, I'm bringing these pedophiles out of their shells and I'm making them I'm known. Yes, y'all, don't want to be exposed but then you start disagreeing with me saying like oh they kind of write or it's your fault for posting your body what do you expect not to get sexually harassed for posting your body uh yeah every girl should expect that and just because we don't expect it doesn't mean that it can't change so nothing is an excuse for guys to sexually harass assault you know everything above to a woman or men or boys, anyone. Nothing is, is an excuse. Keep your in your pants, your nasty words to yourself, nasty pictures to yourself, and maybe you won't get in trouble. You can look all you want, you can stare all you want, you can do everything in private all you want, but as soon as you do something illegal, as soon as you harass someone, that's when it's a problem, and that's when you have a problem in your head. All right, guys, that's my TED Talk for today. I'm gonna enjoy my bagel and enjoy exposing these pedophiles and keeping people safe. All right, guys, I'm actually getting ready for bed right now, so this is gonna be the end of the video.
thank you guys so much for watching um just comment whatever you like want to see more content of or like some new content i should try out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna try to be like more myself in more of my videos because usually i'm like pretty camera shy and now that i stopped doing tiktok i feel a lot more confident because tiktok is so toxic like it makes me feel so bad about myself so yeah back in the youtube industry back in the instagram so i hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as i am and yeah thank you so much for watching